college, so you started small, and now it's a big, and like, that's really good inspiration for a lot of people. Right, just any, I just want to like, just get in your heads with anything. And, I mean, I might be questions along the way, I don't need an answer, as long as we just have some good convo. Cool stuff. So, okay. What were you yeah. hoping for when you put them well, Were you hoping for something to extend past college, or uh, you were just trying to your ass? <laughs> I feel like uh, what we did I don't think it was like a career decision. It was like, let's do this comedy show. Yeah, I mean, we, yeah. I, I got asked to direct a one act play, and uh, I had done stand up in Chicago and, and, and some sort of improv, uh, improv training kind of. Yes. What does it say? <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Whatever. 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 And, and uh, so they uh, asked, Sixth members questioners. asked me to do a, uh, uh, what I play, and, and I decided to try a sketch comedy group uh, show instead. Okay. And so I called up all the funny people that I knew. Uh, they said no, and here we are. And then he made a couple of these guys. Yeah, you didn't call me. Uh, I didn't call you because he didn't want me to call you. No, he didn't like me in college. Yeah, I called him first, and then uh, we started putting together the team, and then I said, what about Steve Lemon? He goes, eh, I don't think so. Yeah. And then eventually we settled on, well, he can play the scumbag roles. Right. Hey. So Perfect. that's his. Yeah. His from him. Yeah. yeah, no, I like uh, yeah. But when, we, when did you think that you had the group go outside of college first? Uh, well, the, the first... The that was a big decision, though, because, sure. That was the one we decided we would go, we would do it. Because after we graduated, people were deciding where they were going to live. Right. Right? And you were deciding between New York and potentially San Francisco. San Francisco. And I was deciding between New York and I also grew up to move to DC. And I was going to go live in DC with them. Right. And they were like, ah, you know what, let's go to New York and try it out. Yeah. These guys were one year older than the three of us. Okay, I was going to ask if you guys yeah. were ever together. So they went ahead okay. and started in New York with. There were other random people, people, right? Yeah, people some from people group. from New York. And we had like 11 people in that group. And the first one in some New York? Yeah. Okay. Some of us are looking for a nice sketch TV show. Yeah, I guess at the first okay. one, we tried to decide if we wanted to get it. Well, what happened was right that we, okay. there was a night when MTV was coming down to see us. Get they had a slot that were going to the sketch I comedy group, and we killed. And the next night, they went and saw this group, The State, and they killed even more, apparently, because they got the slot. So then we said, well, there's not really that much room with Saturday Night Live and yeah. now the state and it's all. So we said, let's try to make a movie. Yeah, come on. Kid, this guy from NYU came down to our, our live show. Jay knew from my NYU film school. And he, he was a senior and he had us uh, write and act in his senior thesis film. Okay. And so he flew us down to Florida to make this 30 minute movie. And after that, it's like, you know, like the stage is awesome, but we realized there were limitations and there's so much we could do. And we definitely got the fever at that point. Because okay. uh, Kobe, I mean, it's very small, small school. Yeah. Um, small private school. Yeah. Yes, yeah, but uh, 2600. Yeah. Uh, Marquette, uh, I looked at the tuition at Colgate. It's, it's about the same as Marquette. Right. Uh, and how big is Marquette? Marquette's probably 12,000. Okay. So, pretty, you know, bigger. Yeah. Um, but still, it's like the private school feel. Did that, did that affect anything at all? Like, were you guys. Like, did you, were you different? Right, or like, was, <laughs> what was like the standard student? Or did, was everybody kind of really great? It was all kids who got it rejected from Dartmouth, right? Yeah, same school. Yeah. The interesting thing was, though, that it's a very like tight knit community. Right. So when we did our first shows, you could make fun of stuff on the campus, uh, everyone would get the joke. Yeah. So it was always a very simple way for us to start writing comedy. Right. Like, you make fun of that campus police guy, and everybody yeah. knows that guy. You know what I mean? Oh, fun. It was very That's easy. Cool. And then when we moved to New York, we learned that you couldn't do that. Yeah, you have to you make, actually more. make a, make a broader yeah. joke. So, okay, so Broken Lizard, that was like the name of college, right? No, it was called Charred Goose Beach. Really? In college, yeah. yeah. All right. Still there. How'd that name happen? Uh, that one happened because Charred Goose Beach, I remember I went over to try to get this guy to draw a poster, and we didn't really have a name. And, and oh, no, no. It happened the but same Charter way. Speak. It happened the same way that Broken Lizard it happened. Did? Oh yeah, we had a, an even more elaborate naming process. <laughs> yeah. for the I don't remember that. What was yeah. the name? The, the, uh, like the uh, faculty, staff, chicken wing bake off. Oh right. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> what, what we do is like everyone gets to put like ten names and 
potential names into a hat. Okay. And then we spend 48 hours whittling it down, like it's like the, the you know the, the NCAA basketball tournament, like yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. That's excellent. And in both cases, with uh, Char Goose Beak and Broken Lizard, Jay, after like these grueling battles, Jay just went and you know, laterally created a name in the last second. Okay. Yeah. So imagine like the, at the end of the NCAA tournament, <laughs> yeah. suddenly they just name UCLA the winner for yeah, no reason. That's, 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 that's just mine right there. But they, yeah. they wouldn't even name UCLA, someone who wasn't even in the tournament. Right? <laughs> like, yeah. and After they graduated, Paul and I were still in charge of And, oh, right, we, and they went down to New York younger. starting out we're a year back. Okay. And let me talk about that. <laughs> yeah, we Great. almost killed Charlie Gisby by, by leaving it in our hands. Yeah, it almost died. Yeah. I dropped out at some point. You did. You stuck oh, around. No. And then you dropped out. I dropped out and then dropped out of school. <laughs> and then came and lived on our couch. Yeah. Excellent. We started Bar borrowed money. Yeah, I brought a lot of money. Yeah. Kept money. A lot of money. <clears throat> I paid him back eventually. Oh. I did. That's very uh, noble. It was almost yeah. all uh, alcohol. Yeah. Really yeah. I would say yeah. all of it. You yeah. Yeah. So just like. Any advice that you guys have for people? Because I know a lot of, um, you know, a lot of kids want to start stuff, and they just they always get weary about how they're gonna make a living in it, and then they always fall out of it because of like this how they're scared. Well, you know, I think when we first, even when we moved to New York, it was just still for fun. You know, yeah. we were 21 years old, and I was like, hey, let's, you know, like when I dropped out and found it, I was like, hey, you want to do the show in New York? Yeah, let's go for it. And uh, you know we had so much fun doing it. Because yeah. even like even our writing sessions were not. You know it's like when we would walk out of a writing session and go hang out someplace. Yeah. We would be coming up with all this great stuff. They just have laughs or natural constant. conversation. We'd be like, hey, we should put that in this. We should put that in yeah. this. And then uh, you know it's just sort of one thing led to another, and there's always like another little carrot that sort of led us. Yeah. And then we made the short film that just sort of you know. I don't want to be cheesy and say, like, we picked each other. It just sort of happened that way, right. you know? So, I mean, I guess that would be the, the advice would be, if you're having fun, then just keep doing it. Yeah. See, that, that, that may be the only thing you get out of it. Yeah, And exactly. if you're not having fun, then it's right. sort of And we were also kind of like, we were roommates in college, and then, yeah. so when we moved to New York, we, it felt very natural right. and it needs to be roommates again. Yeah. We were friends, yeah, so we were working together. Jay, Steve, and I went to a restaurant together. So. So, I mean, it was very easy and it was natural. It wasn't really, it didn't feel like it was forced. Yeah, that's, I don't know, it's just really cool to know that that can happen, you know, and just stay together like that for so long. That's probably the secret. You know, like, you, you meet a lot of people who are in musical bands or even in comedy groups or any, you know, sort of collaborative entity, and they're put together by yeah. other people, and, you know, they break up. And I think part of the key to our longevity is the fact that we were friends beforehand. Yeah. And so, you know, in our tennis moments, we can play it. So like there's two things that you could do, like tell somebody um, to have like, you know, like oh, be dedicated and you know, have fun. Would you say that's just what you should do with well, anything? If you really are gonna try to pursue something you have to you have to you have to move to either New York or LA right. and you have to because that's where you know, the, the most vibrant comedy communities are, and the, the people who are on all the television shows and who cast in movies, they pick from those pools. Right. Somewhat in Chicago, but not as much, you know? And then, so if you're not there to begin with, you're, you're both there on the game already. Right. You kind of got to go and throw yourself in the ring, and then work, you leave. I think you should keep, you know, you really have to do it. Like, a lot of guys will sit around and say, so I think that's funny, and I can do that, or whatever. You know, so you actually put words on paper or yeah, shoot yeah. something. You have to be a generator, self-generator. Otherwise, you, you yeah. just keep talking about it. Otherwise, yeah. you actually do it, and then that one's yeah. Just look at Paranormal Activity. Somebody made a fifteen thousand dollars movie that's going to be the most profitable movie of all time. Right. You just somebody did it. So I'm sorry. Yeah. Fucking, I'll find a way to do it. Yeah. And just create something. Yeah. No matter how crazy getting with things, just say a few and do it. Yeah. So you're wrong. Just be sassy. Yeah, yeah. 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 Take, if you do one thing in life, be sassy. Yeah. Match your ears to your shoes. <laughs>